Hi, my name is Jason Kaiser, and I'm excited to submit this video as a part of my application. I began working with Google Apps for Education in 2009 in my first post overseas. I led my team through the full-scale adoption, training, and rollout of Gmail and Google Apps for our K-12 program of more than 1,100 students, teachers, and support staff. My next experience using Google Apps for Education was at my second school. The school is in its infancy in the use of Google Apps, but I was fortunate to work closely with our tech team to develop and roll out the powerful collaboration features for our middle school program. This had a particularly strong impact on our student-led conferences where we began to use Google Sites as ePortfolios for the first time. In my current position, my goal is always the infusion of G Suite collaborative tools and strategies for students, teachers, administrators, and support staff to best support their needs in their roles. One place I get to practice this a lot is when it comes to using Google Drive. Our school has a heavy emphasis on showing student work and demonstrating it to all stakeholders involved. We do this primarily through digital portfolios. One challenge we face as an institution is what to do with student videos for those students that are in the elementary school. YouTube is an appropriate alternative for a middle school or high school student, but what do you do with a student who's underaged? This is where Google Drive comes to the rescue with a hidden power. Any file within your Google Drive can be shared just by right clicking or two finger clicking on the file in question and then selecting the share option. But if you're dealing with a video file, then you have a bit of a different challenge. You don't want to just have a link to a video, you want to be able to use the video itself. Our first step will be to find the correct video. In my case, I'm going to search for a video that's owned by me. Once I've found the file I'm looking for, I'm going to do something a bit unusual. I'm going to double click on my file and open it in the preview window. I look at open with, and I don't get any options I need there. And then I see the three dots on the right side. I think maybe here is where I'll find what I need. And I'm right. Open a new window, my Google Drive superpower. By selecting the open a new window option, a new URL appears in the browser. I am now not at a preview window, but actually the view for the original file that's been uploaded to the Google Drive. And when I click the three dots, my special power embed item appears. I can now copy this embed file and use it wherever I like. Using Google Sites would make this exponentially easier. But if your school like mine that already has a learning management system or Google Sites poses a challenge because you're using a device like an iPad, this Google Drive feature will allow you to use the content delivery vehicle of your choice. 